Chronicles were back. So this is part 12 of Final Fantasy 7. And I'm going to stay at the end. Just to give it a different intro from the save screen that we usually start off with. And uh, we have some stuff to do in Walmart. So one of the first things I'm going to probably show in a little bit is the stuff I had to do some grinding in between this episode and the previous one just because I didn't have enough money to get all the weapons and armor upgrades that I need. So we're going to take care of that and uh, you'll see essentially what you know, is going to happen here. Because you want your characters as tough as possible, obviously, but uh, it really... If, if you do prepare ahead, it, it involves you having to do less fighting. The only thing you really have to fight for is just for Gil. So, which kind of takes this game and makes it not as large as it would probably seem to be, but that's kind of my approach to role-playing games most of the time. Mainly because I get addicted to the storyline, that's what I want to see, you know. But that's how RPGs kind of tack up time, is just by saying, well, it's a... Uh, 80 hour, 75 hour RPG, and it's like, well, how much that goes towards the random battles. So, I'm not complaining about this game. This game obviously is still stellar. So, a lot of people in this town are wanting the women, and uh, Tifa and Eris are both popular in this town despite them having really been there that much. So this is this Don Corneo dude. One, they say later that he's kind of interested in like settling down, even though he doesn't have the personality to do that. He's kind of a uh, a womanizer. So, but, so we advance the plot. That's the next thing that we're gonna do here. Is just kind of advance the plot and such. Wait till you see what's gonna happen here. You know, kinda <laughs> I wasn't expecting this when I first found out about this. <laughs> that's right, folks. Cloud is gonna have to dress up like a girl, so that's how things are going. And you know. <laughs> It's like I was saying before, how this kind of takes like a particular turn. I mean, I, I suppose it's not really... I mean, it is rated T. If this were rated M, I'm not so sure that it would do this, but I probably wouldn't want it to if it were rated M. But, you know, this is lighthearted, kind of an awkward way, but it wasn't something I was expecting from Final Fantasy. So, but I'll just advance you through this so you know exactly how to primp up cloud so this is this particular point in the game there's segments that go along with it and uh, you get different dialogue depending upon how much of a woman that cloud looks like there's things that you can dress him up with and I basically do all these side quests in these next few episodes but uh, there's more than two or three things that you have to do so kind of a thing you know, and honestly, it's not like you get any special weapon for Cloud looking like a perfect woman, but it just kind of has the better scenes, I would suppose. <laughs> I, mean, I was trying to figure out, you know, I, I could have, I, I thought about, like, just kind of going through this and not really, you know, because it, it obviously gets kind of awkward, racy in some cases, but I said, you know, we'll just go through it so people know what the game wanted you to experience. So. <laughs> it's funny. I mean, I think, you know, when you pay attention to, like, movies, like Austin Powers dressed up like a woman, and, you know, you've got all those Tyler Perry movies and that sort of stuff, so it happens. You just wouldn't expect it from Cloud. <laughs> I mean, you know, all the times you see him, and it's like, hey, he dressed up... You know, they should have given him a name. I shouldn't have called. I mean, I hope that uh, you know if Don Corneo would have asked for Cloud's name. He's not going to say, "Oh, well, Zone." I mean, obviously, if he would have said Cloud, that sounds like a guy's name. So Tanya should or Eris should have given him a name, female name. 
something like that, but this is a PlayStation game, so I don't know. But we're gonna take an intermission in a little bit. You get to see some extra skits that I have as some of us involved with uh, acidic roots and the, and the like have for you, so you get to see a nice little skit before we resume the rest of this LP. It'll happen in a couple minutes. So, just goodies, you know, just kind of spruce things up, make my playthrough different. But this guy's just getting drunk at, off his ass at a bar. <laughs> we have to convince him to kind of come along with us. And obviously these choices depend upon how well he's going to make the dress, so you want to pick those two bottom ones. point to this part is just going through the town. It wants you to kind of get used to the RPG factor of talking with everyone. It's really, you know, it's simple enough. So. Get the silk dress. And obviously, I mean, you only have to, if you really dislike this part, you only have to do one more little scene in this, which all you have to do is get the wig. And then you can just basically, I mean, you won't get the best part, but uh, Cloud can basically go to the mansion just with the wig after this. So. so Eris knows what she's doing. She's kind of sprucing up Cloud and kind of trying to get him in motion. So. <laughs> That's the thing, I mean, typical of a woman, they like this sort of stuff. I mean, <laughs> when you're out of your element, it's kind of like, well, what the hell is going on here? Alright, we'll save that for the next part. We're gonna go to intermission. Go get some food. This first game is a troll. I don't know what's with these enemies. I miss so damn much. You're watching Final Fantasy VII. Alright, welcome back from your break, folks. Uh, this next part I didn't like when I was first messing with this, but I do think, ultimately, if you uh, just pay attention, it's really not that difficult. So. But we have to go to the gym, and we have like a little mini-game that's afoot. There are some of these, and that's the thing. I mean, this is not an entirely just role-playing game. It's kind of... It's, uh, it's an action RPG almost. That's kind of just good. I mean, it's basically like stellar for the PlayStation and stuff. Yeah, we have to compete with this guy and we're just going to do squats. So, uh, obviously, the button combinations I think is going to trip people up if you do this. So, I mean, Maybe you'll lose like well actually I think you only get one shot. I mean if you lose you get a worse wig. It's not like you get to retry. I mean it kinda of, you only unless you save ahead of time, you only get like one shot to get the best wig. If you tie you get the medium wig. And if you lose you get the worst wig. So uh, as long as you have a rhythm to this, it's really not too terrible. So you do get to practice, so there you go. But, uh, 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 uh. I'm just gonna skip the practice, we'll just get right to it. So. to Walmart and uh, got a shit ton of Yoohoo, the newest drink I've been drinking, I had to back away from soda, and uh, I, you know, I was just under the impression that it's been a while since I've gotten a 12 pack of soda or some sort of drink, I mean, I haven't, I didn't, yeah, it's been a while since I've gotten a 12 pack of some sort of drink, so I bought three 12 packs of Yoohoo, and uh, that's
that's basically, you know, 40 cans of a drink here, and it'll, it'll probably last me until, like, almost August, I would say, Just depending on how much of that I drink, but it's kind of the impression of, like, the main thing, it was kind of funny walking into Walmart with a mask, I was just like, <laughs> man, this is so weird having to do that, I mean, you sit there and it really feels like some James Bond movie where you're kind of in the ducks and you have to sneak and you have to kind of hide behind things and make sure you don't bump into anybody and you don't do all that. I mean, it's kind of adventurous, but it's kind of retarded at the same time. You know, I just, I, I don't know what to expect from it, you know, just for someone who, I mean, I suppose the older you get, the more ridiculous it kind of is, but I'm just happy that I got my new boo. I mean, I'm just going to screw it. I need my canned drinks again. For the rest of this, I mean, I'm not going to show this all in this episode, but we just go through the process of getting, uh, we go through the process of getting, uh, the rest of these female, uh, as accessories. So, but I do have to grind a little bit, just because I think I need a little bit more money, so one battle, you do get to see some fights if you're kind of itching for some fights. It's like, yeah, it's going to show up some. But, you know, obviously. That's the thing, I mean, this area is really not that bad. You can just do this for a while. Just get into a few, spend the 10 guild, uh, get some rest, and keep doing it. It's a good way to get your level up. So, but I'm not going to level up. I mean, it, it takes a lot to level up in this game. I mean, honestly, these enemies they give you like 20 and so you basically have to get like 20 or 25 battles to level up. I'm not trying to do that. But there is Cloud using his cover ability. You want that because Eris is kind of weaker. Four of these assholes. So we, we just have some errands on our hands. Episodes we're gonna deal with this is errands and kind of effeminate kind of situations. <laughs> but then there's kind of like a seemingly gay little spot in this. I mean, I, I watched a playthrough of this where it, it took a turn for the gay, and like and there's like this bar at the lower right club in this lower right hand corner of the town so I mean I, don't, I didn't know what was up with that but I'm, I'm, I mean obviously you know you can see some quirky stuff but we'll, I'll explain more about that in a later episode but yeah we're gonna get some food if you you have to compliment them but if you do you get the coupon you can help this person out in the bathroom so it's, there's this person holed up in the bathroom and she needs like some digestive stuff <laughs> stomach medicine but yeah I needed some money because I didn't have money for that enough 70 gil so. one of those processes you gotta spend money to make money you're gonna have to spend 200 gil a little bit down the road I just went ahead and got some battles. I do like the idea that you kind of have to visit the, the the cafe, though. It's fun to see a Korean barbecue plate. I mean, I haven't had one of those, but it might be decent. Alright, so stay tuned for next time. Subscribe for more fun. Have a good night.